matchup could have been amazing, but instead it's balls. <laughs> There's a lot of balls in there. It's true. And uh, Death. Hey, see, look. Now Fake is already getting first blood, so the mid lane's ruined anyway. He flashed over the wall to predict the Nunu mechanics. Are... Uh, he's heading up top lane. There's the flash from Val Lan as Beryl. He's relatively tanky, has himself that stun onto Jackie Love, looking to try and get underneath the turret, but the whirling oh. axes are real dangerous. The flash fall with the adoration. Be a bad idea. We got no flash, only oh, half flash on Death, actually. Yeah, Beryl does have the hex flash as uh, he goes in and he's very dead. Mega dead. As dead as possible. More adoration. Going over to Jackie Love. Uh -oh. Maybe we should just not talk about it, because it's still. Yeah, I. Bad. I yeah. It's a little bit too scary. Yeah. Good stun. Ooh. Ooh, the flash forward from 369. Kana gets the physical shield. Now looking to try and walk it out. Wants to be out of hookshot when he can. And Faker <laughs> turns up with a big frozen orb. And 369 is going to get stunned up. There's the snowballs coming on in. And Kana doesn't have flash, so he can't actually close the gap. As, uh, yep, not going to die. Um, but, but still eventually does go down. Yep, Kana, he's going to get game played by uh, rookie Syndra. It's definitely a good sign. Speggy just looking to clear out the minion waves, throwing some snowballs around, having a great time. On the rift, good stun there onto rookie as now Canyon comes through and wow. easily finishes that off. <laughs> if it does work. There's 369 looking to try and clear out some of these creeps. Okay. On the way. Yeah, that's a great stun onto Casa actually as the Hextech ultimatum comes in. Special delivery over to Nunu and Willump, and they do just take down the Lee Sin. Uh. 369 going to fall as well. And this is, I guess, why Faker decided to play mid Nunu, because apparently it's just completely overpowered. It's just a couple of stacks that he had. And they're just gonna wait for this one. I don't think they know. They're in the brush here. Yep, there's the flash forward. Jackie Love is going to get the flash out. Stand aside comes in. Depth makes it to the brush. And Beryl finishes off the kill. He's the true carry of this lane, I yeah. thought. Beryl's here. And Kana's going to get here first, so. Yeah, inside track for the Camille. So it's going to be a bit of a smite fight. As it oh. is going to be secured by Kana. You can see Kana looking for 369. Collateral damage does so much work. In the meantime, Casa falls to Faker. Is now Beryl looking to keep Rookie in position. His double buffs are looking real juicy and Deft wants to collect them. Flash comes out from Rookie, but the flash to follow from Deft and easily tidies up the kill. Jack would have nowhere to be seen as he's just going to be farming down on the bottom side. Actually, probably better for him at least, but of course the double buffs pretty nice to get onto this mirror down on the bottom side. And yeah, it's exactly what we were talking about. Just first roam from Kana. Faker did have to give up some of the stacks that he had built up, but he actually got an assist after he died as well. So. Yeah, it's real good stuff. Barrel now looking for Jackie Love. Puts up the shield, um, but I don't know whether anyone can get here in time as Jackie Love's <laughs> just decided, well, I guess if you're going to give me a free kill, I'll take it. Rookie comes down here as well as there's the dash cannon. Uh -oh. Faker gets a bit of extra damage onto Rookie, but now Lanton's getting thrown out. Bao Lan trying to get everyone in there, but Faker, he's just wandering his way home. Already. Got Tells another barrel to stand aside, and he absolutely did. Um, barrel dies oh. again. Yep. Um... Canyon will find Rookie. Rookie tries to do the gameplay, oh. but good sidestep was always the Camille item of choice. But now you've got a few others that do have more on hit uh, amplification. Has entered uh, the non laning stage of the game for him, as it always is. Oh, Ooh. wow. Somehow managed to get him. Even Canna wasn't expecting it. Because now 369 just wow. going to be taken down so easily. I guess that's why you pick up the Divine Sundra. <laughs> it's real stupid damage. But also, sometimes you accidentally land a hook shot. Yeah, I mean, that was an interesting flash, but it was still a great read from Kana. And clearly the guy is very strong. I think, um, you know, some people, when they saw Kana's name, I'm not, well, actually. Yeah, Faker looking for Jackie Love there as the uh, whirling death comes through, and Faker just eats Jackie it. Love just not with quite enough damage. Uh, let's take down Faker there. Yeah, all That's evens out. In comes Beryl, looking for the Draven. Gale Force. Yeah, Canyon closes the distance very comfortably. There is a real dead 369. Don't know whether the Hextech ultimatum was necessary, but it was fun. There's the flash into the flay. The kickback onto Deft. 
We'll CC him for a long time. Flashes out though, and now Kana's is going to make his way in Bowland. Goes golden. Jackie Love trying to get out the back, and Kana just oh. eviscerates oh. them one after the other. The Samira collecting a kill. First. He's landing every single hook shot as well. And I think that Jackie Love could have been a little bit more aggressive, honestly. Yep. He's, uh, he's out of control now. Uh, there's really no way they're going to have any chance against this guy, unless they 4v1 him. Yeah, I think four people might do it, but he's going to take one of them with him. Uh, Jackie Love's going to come in, so I guess this is another four versus one that he gets to uh, participate in, and that time Being it's as not... sneaky as possible. Rewarding that brush for the LCK. Is Kana going to get kicked back, but uh, hookshot. Oh, the buffering. Great stuff there. And uh, after that, the LPL not wanting to try and contest this one. LCK will get themselves to Soul Point uncontested. Rotations. Yep. The timings on that one. I suppose this is damage numbers. Looks like Kana's up there. Really cool interrupt onto Canyon. Uh oh. That's a big old snowball. It's is actually uh, scary. Oh my god, the damage. Carson now trying to run for his life. Collateral damage will be able to take him down there. Two kills already for the LCK. Kana gets into the fray. The whirling Whoa. death is only death for Jackie Love's team. And Faker, I'd say limps away, but I think that was more of a swag walk. Yeah, you know, calculated. Makes it out of there perfectly. Doing the most amount of damage whilst also not dying and soaking a bunch of damage. LCK, they... Oh, I thought they were actually staying. I'm like, that's not a good idea. Zero and six, three, six, nine has rolled a three. Yeah. And he is not feeling too good about this one. Big teleport from Rookie. Looking to try and take down Faker and Canyon. Snowball. Don't underestimate the Nunu. Yeah. I'm scared uh -oh. already for 369. Counter Strike lands. The gameplay button. Not enough gameplay from Rookie as Canyon's just going to hunt him down. Grabs that kill comfortably. And the rest of the LPL turn up a little bit too late. Beryl's going to turn up here as well as Val Land. Decent play to try and get him out of there. And he is uh, real dead, Valdez. You are absolutely correct. Oh no, not quite yet. Not yet. Jackie Love, he's the one that's gonna sacrifice himself for the good of the colony is now Casa diving on in, wants to kick something. Um, he did, but it didn't not really to work out for them. I think even without Kana, probably would have eventually gotten the kill onto the Jacks. And then it's just the, you know, it's like the, the chase. The acne sacks begins. <laughs> Indeed. And Steric's gauge is done for Kana. This is a huge Camille. As I think it's just, uh, just wandering uh, these orbs into the base. Does have to flash to get himself out of the way as Canyon does so much damage. 369 standing on his friendly box. But uh, unfortunately, it's not going to be enough. <laughs> Hextech ultimatum, the flash is a little bit too late. Now to Jackie Love. And he is going to fall. Canna tanking two turrets for what oh. feels like forever. <laughs> as Casa falls to the very large snowball Avalanche. that they can put down. Exactly. And Rookie finds himself alone on his fountain. Can I come back to Korea? No. No. And he doesn't want to either. It's too good. Yeah, I think he's fine over there. Indeed. As uh, this Nexus is going to fall down. Get him. <laughs> Faker delivers the oh. snowball. <laughs> and Rookie gonna flash on top of Deft. He was trying to give himself up for the good of the colony, but LCK strikes first.